Okay, we can start recording and uh, I'll share the screen again. And this one, can you see this? And can you hear me? Okay. I think you have now some experience and some ideas about how to solve these type of questions. And here you can see RC is 10K ohm, RL is a different one to you. The previous circuit RL is not mentioned, but RL is that uh, the load resistor we are connecting here. Then with that, we have to find I draw the circuit again, actually that with RL that we haven't shown that one previously but it's not a big thing it's not a difference with there we can take the circuit again Or at least something like this, and we have connected this. Here, RL is 30K. This RC is, this is 10K. The values R1 and R2 are such to fix the Operating point at 10 volts, 1 million. Then draw the DC load line, assume RE is negligible. And here, when you do the calculation here, you can take RE as zero. That, until that you can that use this RE, but, but here we have to do is that we can draw the, uh, this one. We can draw the dot line like this. This is VCE. This is IC. We can draw this load line. And what do you know? From the diagram, we know this Q point. This one. These two points are given. This one milliampere and ten volts. This is ten volts. And this is one million. Okay. You know that from this one, this is VCC. VCC is 20 volts. This is plus VCC. And you know how to calculate this one. It's VCC over RC plus RE. 
to find this point, you know that this is VCC divided by RC plus RE. Then we have to take RE as the very small one, it's negligible. Then here you can find this point. Then based on that, you can draw the line. But these figures are there, 1 milliampere, 10 volts, those things are there. Then we have to do the reverse calculation to find R1 and R2. can take this one as zero. You know VCE. Okay. You know VCE and this is zero. You know VCE with that you can find this IC. You know IC. Then IC RC and this VCE these values we know. And this is very easy one. I think uh, we don't want to find that way also. That when we, have, we we know the current going through this. Yeah. We know the current uh, going through this. This is IC. This is one milliampere. And across this VCE, is 10 volts because this is negligible. Then no point of finding this one. Then this is zero. And if this is zero, this is VBE, it should be 0.7 volts. Then this point voltage is 0.7 volts. Then we have to maintain 0.7 volts here. To do that, we have to find R1 and R2. Then we can write equation. 0.7 volts equals to R2 times VCC R1 plus R2.
the ratio is given R1 to R2 We can write <coughs> equation for this one. Then this is nineteen point three volts equals to R one VCC R one plus R two. And these are the equations and we can write, but anyway that when we write these equations, then you can take, because that we know the ratio, because of that you can take whatever the value for these things. When assuming that R2 for some certain value, then you can find R1, or maybe you can assume certain value for R1, then you can find R2. Okay, for example, assuming R2 equals 5K. Okay, then from one we will get Point seven five k into twenty volts, and this is one five k.
but you know that there is no effect when you change this transistor values r1 and r2 but you have to maintain the ratio until you receive 0.7 volts at this point the different resistors you can use but anyway we are using the resistors uh, in order to have some kind of minimum effect for ib current and current going through this r1 r2 network is, is having great value then ib then effect of this ib is not uh, reflected by this r and r2 voltage drop okay then any question anything Small into equations cannot be find exact value to the R1 and R2. But again, that we'll have that uh, this ratio. But uh, if we want that, we can do like that one also. But anyway, that uh, it's a ratio we have to maintain because this is a voltage divider circuit. And practically, we use this R1 and R2, normally in the kilo ohm range, it's around 2K, 5K, like that. That when we have this kilo ohm range resistor, then enough current is going through this net, uh, this net, this branch, then that will not be affected to IB because that when compared to the current going through this network, it's very much higher than IB current. Then we, we draw IB from this junction, it is negligible one. The effect from IB is negligible. Any question? Anything? Okay, if you don't have any question, uh, we can finish the class now. Then thank you very much for spending this time with me, I think for a couple of months and tolerating all these things. And we had a, a couple of weeks that breakdowns and all these things also. But anyway, uh, we have to finish this section. I think uh, hopefully that we had a, a good time to finish up the digital electronics section, but for the analog one that we didn't have much more time. But anyway, that uh, you can have some kind of idea when you look at the tutorial, that is the structure of your paper. And those type of questions will be coming. And in addition to that, uh, and in addition to that, uh, the one of the things that I have not covered here, the transistor switch application. Okay. In addition to that, in addition to the questions that so far we have discussed in the tutorial, then you have to. Get ready for this transistor switch. Okay, those are the things actually we have discussed. Anything beyond this will not be coming to the your paper, and only the thing that we have discussed within the class will be coming to your paper.
then can you show how to do 2020 q1 part a actually i don't have the question paper with me uh, if you have the question that uh, if it is possible to show me that we we can solve it Okay, now you can share the screen. Following is a diode based battery backup circuit, the 50, 15 volts regulator outputs. 15 volts regulate output 15 volts when main power supply is available and zero volts when the main power supply is shown. And here we have this one, uh, 30, 25, 15 volts regulator, it's coming from this side. And here we'll have 15 volts there and from this bed when the main supply is shown. Okay. Then here, what, what is the idea here is that we have this 15 volts regulator. Then the output of this 15 volts regulator is 15 volts. And when we when it comes to this point, it will be, uh, yes, fill the following table. Can you a little bit go up, go down? Yeah, wait. Then when main power is available, biasing of T1, biasing of T2, amount of current drawn from the battery. When main power is not available, when main power is available, can you go up? Yeah, yeah. Can you keep the both table and the diagram in the screen? Okay, then when the main power is available, means that we have this DC 5 volt 15 volts regulator there. Then biasing of D1 is. Okay, this is D1 is forward biased and D2 is reverse biased because that here, this D2, this side voltage is 12 volts. And when we forward bias this D1 diode, the output is 14.3. Uh, With 14.3 is this cathode side. Then when the main power is available, D1 forward bias, D2 reverse bias. And amount, the amount of current drawn from the battery is zero. We don't draw any current from the battery. When the main power is not available, D1 is reverse bias, D2 is forward bias. And D2 is forward bias, then 12 volts minus 0.7, then 11.3 volt is coming from the battery. Then you have this resistor 100 ohm. Then you know the voltage is 11.3, 11.3 divided by 100 ohms. Then you can calculate the current taken from the battery. Is it okay? Did you understand it? Hello? Yeah. Okay, then. Okay, shall we finish?